Okay, I'm going to show you how to remagnetize or strengthen a compass. First thing you need to do is you need a really strong magnet. I uh, I obtained mine from gutting an old uh, PC hard drive. Now, this is an IDE type hard drive, but uh, most any uh, full size one will work. We'll get you a good strong compass. Uh, they're fairly easy to gut. Couple screws. Pull the panel off. Start digging in there, and you'll uh, you'll know the magnet when you find it because they are uh, they're very strong. And what you end up with is you end up with a, uh, a magnet that looks like this. I'll just uh, give you a demonstration on how strong it is here. Got an axe. Definitely, definitely strong. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get it off here. There we go. All right. So the first step, once you've gutted the hard drive, obtained your magnet, is you need to find north and south on the magnet itself um, using a a good compass. And being gentle with a good compass, you can uh, you can find north and south. You can see here I've wrote on there uh, with some permanent marker what's north and what's south on this magnet, so I already know. But you can see it's uh, messing with all my compasses here, I'm a little further away. You have to be careful with these magnets because you can actually damage the compass or electronic devices. Um, what you're going to do, although to find north and south on the magnet, I'll just bring it. Uh, ever so slightly close to a uh, proper reading compass north to south I'll switch around here there we go south to north once you have the polarity of your magnet identified that's when you can remagnetize the compass or change the polarity of the compass if you're not careful now what you do very very simple I'm going to try not to change the polarization of my compass here. This is one I've actually remagnetized. Is you would bring the south to the north, and then, or the north to the south, depending on if you need to repolarize or uh, just remagnetize. If you were to pass the compass over the magnet, right up against it, in a, a fairly speedy fashion, it'll actually uh, change the polarization of your compass. Your south will be your north, or your north will be your south. Um, what you do is, if your compass is completely dead, is uh, just bring it over the magnet like that a couple times, and you'll uh, it'll either start reading north or it'll start reading south, depending on what you've uh, got going on. And it's easy to uh, fix that. Just go the opposite direction with your magnet and with your compass. If you've got a dead compass, you don't have much to lose anyway, so you'll figure it out fairly quickly exactly how it's going to uh, magnetize. And to strengthen a compass, what I do is I just ever so slightly bring the compass over the uh, magnet north to south. You can see the magnet strong. It can actually pull the compass. So you got to be careful because you can break the needle. In a motion like this, we'll remagnetize it or strengthen it. And what I've also done, I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but it doesn't seem to hurt, is I will leave my compass and my magnet on a flat table and I'll leave them like that for a couple days, couple weeks, however long. And uh, this one has actually been remagnetized. I carried this in the pocket with a cell phone, and then it completely lost its polarization. It would not point any direction to point whatever direction you pointed it in, and uh, it seems to be fairly fairly strong again. And, uh, that's a method I use just to check and see how quickly my compasses go back to magnetic north. This is another silver here. 
Um, this one has never been remagnetized. It's still good from the factory. You can see they both uh, go north relatively the same speed. If anything, this one might be a little quicker. It might just be the style of compass, though. And you can do that with any compass. I use the south side of your magnet and bring it uh, along the uh, north needle there. I'll strengthen it. If you've got a good reading compass, I wouldn't do this. Only if you know you've got a weak one or one that's no longer functioning. This is a good process um, to try to fix your compasses. And I've done this with many compasses. It, uh, and I've had very good results. Again, be careful with these magnets because they're pretty strong. And you can see all the compasses move just by uh, me moving this magnet, even within close proximity. But uh, that's how I remagnetize my compasses or strengthen them. Thanks for watching.